viewers, I am Salim Khan, a student in 5th standard and today we are back to our topic that is unit vector for JEE. Okay, this unit vector that is for JEE. Okay, this topic, this point I have taken from, okay, vector, chapter of vectors, okay, that is chapter number 5th from Mechanics Volume 1st by of the series Understanding Physics, okay, by DC Pandey. So, I have taken it from DC Pandey books, okay, that is Mechanics Volume 1st of Understanding Physics. So, okay, chapter name as we know it was vectors so in this one very important concept has been introduced that is about unit vector so question arises that what is a unit vector this is our question so we are in this whole video we are going to reply about what is this question about what is a unit vector that's our question so by starting through unit vector first of all let me uh, tell to you that any vector we have okay so any vector if it if there exists no unit vector inside that vector so that kind of so that will no long remain a vector that will be a scalar quantity of course we know what are scalars and vectors quantity in my previous video i have already described to you so okay and just like unit to know about unit vector we should also know about what is a vector so okay and is scalar also difference between them so what is a unit vector this is our question so a unit vector let me first of all tell, give you example imagine we have any kind of vector quantity okay imagine we have any vector quantity imagine we have such a vector quantity now imagine we have any vector quantity such a okay in this direction vector a okay we have vector a and just like take one unit okay take the exact of magnitude one unit okay from this vector a okay so is it one unit of course it may be called imagine it imagine we have taken one unit of this vector now if we have taken one unit of this vector and imagine this is also a vector in the same direction as the whole vector so this what we have one unit okay this one unit so much what we have that is a unit vector okay that is a unit vector it can be recited as unit vector or can be also called as a cap it is read as a cap or a carrot simply we will call it a cap so here which one unit okay uh, of the same direction as the whole vector which we have taken that is a unit vector or that is our a cap okay because vector was vector a then the unit vector will be a cap that is it so on this we have example about what is unit vector but what exactly is it okay what exactly it is so first of all let me define to you a unit vector is a dimensional vector of magnitude one and of the di direction of the whole vector because a unit vector just defines or, or de decides the whole direction of the vector okay just like let me inform you this vector is same we have okay a vector a now imagine now here we can call that okay just like this was our unit vector in this direction now always unit vector will be in this direction okay of the direction of the whole vector and can this unit vector be in this direction of course it can be then it will be a wrong information given to us because a unit vector okay a unit vector or always have, okay its direction exists in the direction of the whole vector since vectors have direction in magnitude and then the unit vector magnitude is one and the direction of unit vector is the same as on the whole vector so this we have now let us know about more detail about unit vector what is it so unit vector first of all take, take this vector vector a okay we have vector a okay imagine we have vector a now we know that a okay any vector is made of two okay two quantities first is magnitude okay magnitude means the magnitude of vector a and the second is direction the direction of vector a just like uh, vectors we know that vectors is made up of magnitude and direction it is made of magnitude and direction then uh, here we can write uh, okay this we can write as vector a now to this if we write in a okay short form so imagine okay what will be the magnitude of vector a that will be mod of a okay of course will it be mod a of course it will be for magnitude we use the symbol of mod so now so now into okay why into because of course if a vector is made of two quantities 
one is the magnitude and second is direction and when we multiply the magnitude and direction then we are getting any vector quantity so here for this vector we can write okay a vector a equals to mod a means magnitude of a now a multiplied by now which number take direction now how shall we decide up the direction of this vector okay what we know about the direction of this vector are we clear okay imagine now just forget this story okay just forget up this story imagine that we have not been given the direction of this vector so to decide the direction of this vector another quantity is made that is our a cap that is a cap because always the unit vector decides that what direction will the whole vector choose okay that depends upon the unit vector if the unit vector is in this direction whole vector will be in this direction while if the unit vector is in this direction so the whole vector will go in this direction that's it so always a vector a is the mod a multiplied by a cap or a caret because since vector is made of magnitude and our direction so this vector a is given by magnitude of vector a that is mod a into uh, okay direction of vector a and direction of vector a since it depends upon the okay a caret or a cap or that can be called as unit vector so into a cap so that's it finally by this what we are getting equation that a okay you the vector a is okay imagine that the value of mod a okay value of mod a be anything a, imagine this, its value be a then a, a vector a equals to a times a cap okay that's it a times a cap but sometime we have not been given the value okay just like do we have the magnitude of a okay so directly anything we cannot choose okay let it be mod a so finally what we are getting that the vector a is made of two components that is first is magnitude second is direction so finally what we can write that vector a is mod a tans our a cap this we have and from here we can derive another equation that is made for our this okay this quantity okay because since we know that the magnitude okay always a cap okay always a cap equals to 1 its magnitude okay magnitude of a cap means mod of a cap is 1 and the a cap direction okay a cap okay just like we can call sorry a cap direction okay a cap direction is same direction we can call a cap direction is same okay is same for okay it is same for a okay vector a that's the point that always mod of a cap is equals to 1 means magnitude of a cap is 1 but the direction is same for okay is same as the our vector a that's the point but how we came to know that it the direction is same as vector a how we came to know its magnitude is 1 so let us find it out so for knowing this only it is very simple what equation finally we are derived that vector a equals to mod a tans our a okay a cap this we had dropped only try to send this point here okay this uh, our mod a will be going here so it was in multiplication with this here it will be in division so vector a divided by mod a okay okay is equals to a cap okay now symbol of equals to will come here this we have now vector a is made of two components magnitude and direction so this is also magnitude this is magnitude into direction so magnitude uh, into direction divided by magnitude so magnitude magnitude cancel what is left direction okay and in how many times one okay one is left now into direction one into direction is equals to a cap one into direction is a cap so finally why one into direction because a vector okay vector a is uh, okay the magnitude of a means mod a into direction of vector a divided by now mod a mod a mod a each cancelled in one time now finally what is left equals to a cap now one is left here now multiplied by one direction because it is made of magnitude and direction direction is left when into direction is a cap so finally what we are getting that actually the magnitude of a cap is 1 finally what we are getting magnitude of a cap is 1 and the direction okay direction of a okay direction of a cap is equals to the direction of direction of our whole vector a so finally let me tell you but this is the point that the direction of a does not depend on the direction of the whole vector but instead of the direction of whole vector depends upon the 
the direction of a cap sorry here a cap is present okay sorry this is a cap so that's the point direction of the whole vector will depend upon the unit vector or the direction of the whole our this point that is a unit vector or a cap means whatever be the direction of a cap that will be the direction of our whole vector that is vector a but why it depends uh, because uh, as we know that according to this finally what we are drive that actually we know that a cap is a, a vector a divided by mod a whose magnitude is 1 and direction 1 into direction magnitude of a cap finally sorry magnitude here a magnitude of a cap is 1 then the direction of okay it this is also uh, of a cap is also equals to the direction of the whole vector a, okay that is the vector a so this is about whole unit vector in my next videos you can also study about null vectors parallel vectors and anti-parallel vectors so this was my today's topic thank you